Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And check out the link in the description below for some sweet uh, merchandise. We got hats and shirts and all kinds of stuff. Um, so today what we're going to do is beautiful out. Wind's blowing, sun's shining. It's actually not overly hot. It's just a beautiful day. Uh, we're going to go square bale some hay. Uh, we got some second crop over at my mom and dad's place. It's not super thick, but it's it's a lot better than anything I got here. So we'll take what we can get, being it's so dry. But um, anyway, so we got the pickup on the baler here. Uh, new idea baler. And then we got these hay baskets. I got two of them we're going to use. Um, I don't... We got hay that was cut like three different days over there. So it's not all going to be ready today. So I think everything that's ready today will definitely fit in both baskets. So... Um, then I'm not sure what tractor we're going to use on the baler once we get over there. Uh, we got that little 820 John Deere is over there. Uh, that'll definitely run it, especially over there because it's pretty flat ground. Otherwise, my dad's got that 200 Alice or that 706. So we'll figure that out once we get over there. Um, I was going to bring one of ours, but I got them kind of tied up on other stuff. So anyway, we'll head over there and get started. Can you lift it? Thank you. 
How's it going, Justin? Good job, Yoshi. You will never be a dream warrior. Let's see which one. Boy, it's going to take you forever. It looks like a paper clip bent <laughs> over. <laughs> Stack it the opposite way of the ones below you. Huh? So that these will stack this way, right up against the wall. No, opposite of these ones. This way. This? Yeah. yeah. Right up in the corner. There's 220 in these two loads? Yeah. And tomorrow's going to be even more. Yeah. Probably. And you're going to do this all by yourself tomorrow? Yeah, you're going to put them on the elevator and she's going to stack and I'll bail. I'll come home back and forth. Someone's going to help me do it. <laughs> well, Justin could help.
Good stuff, huh? We had to follow her along all the time and scrape up all this and like that. Yeah. So, Debbie, you ever tell you about Grandpa Harold? No. When you got done ba bailing, she just sat on the wagon because he would go around and pick up every little clump. There was maybe not even a bale. Yeah. But he'd spend an hour out there just driving picking around, up everything. Like all that, like that little clump there that he missed. Yeah. He'd drive around the field for an hour, like an hour. He'd just sit on the, when you got done, you just sit on the wagon and kick back because if there was one bale came out, it was a unusual. <laughs> Good job, Geeson. Another yeah. kid, you know. Uh, uh, well, the old side bar rakes, they were only three bar and they missed a lot. So we always had a team of horses on a dump rake tied in the corner of the field. We got done bailing, then we'd run back and forth with that dump rake with the horses. And oh, really? Because of them old rakes were so pitiful. That rake set for narrower windows for the square bailers. That's what going to get some crazy stuff. Put her in the pile. Hey, that's the wrong way. Hey, you're going the wrong way there, Rocco. <laughs> 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 that one? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know how I'd do it without you. What are you doing? Hey, 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 where are you going with that? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> well, Jenny and my dad and the kids, they went back to get chores rolling, evening chores. Um, so we got both of these hay baskets filled. I got one there, one there. Uh, I took one home and dumped it by the elevator. And then there's a little bit left, so we're just going to we put the chute back on the baler. Uh, my dad's got a small flat rack here, so I'm just going to stack what's left on there because I don't have room to dump another one of these. And we're not going to run them up the 
hay barn until after milking and stuff. So anyway, my mom, I think, is going to run the baler and we'll go out and see if we can bail that up. Well, there we go. We got uh, five hundred and ninety-three bales. That was what we did yesterday and today. We had, I think, two hundred and two hundred and forty. I think yesterday, or two twenty, two forty. I think it was. So that's not too bad. Um, really good yield total for what I figured maybe 300 bales total so that part was really good definitely not the most we've ever done in a day but those hay baskets make it nice though um, I think when we used to the most I ever remember doing when we stacked everything on wagons was I think 1200 in a day but had a lot more help then but beautiful beautiful day last couple days was nice and that uh, anybody out there wondering I've had some comments in the past that I need to tighten the baler crank the baler down more it's down as tight as it'll go um, when the hay is dry we crank it all the way down so that uh, that's all you're gonna get out of it but anyway we are gonna get this up in the yard unhook it I'll grab another load and take home and uh, see what's going on there and see if we can get this stuff up in the barn tonight.